YouTube's latest creator purge is upon us. Optimus made this video. It caught my attention. What does he think? All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today I'm making this video because a couple of creators who I actually personally enjoy and who are also so mostly in the commentary community as well, have been dealing with some quite ridiculous issues through YouTube. Now, this is nothing new. It's not like this is... This is, like, filmed, like, a month ago. So it, this is aging so poorly because one of the recent controversies was uh, YouTube strikes regarding reaction videos and so there's been a huge like left and right about reaction videos because some people think it's not creative some people think it is creative because it's a commentary it's not stealing somebody's work but rather it's a breakdown on the commentary much like how you read a public post or you re spark you spark note the information about a book or a tv show it's a commentary and that's transformative to the piece but that comment really aged like milk this is the first time that a problem like this has really taken place where youtube has in at least most of our opinions like falsely taken down someone's video or like they've had the wrong decision about a video appeal this is definitely not the first time right so for me like this happened to me like years ago where i come when i completed star ocean 4 the last hope there was I played the and I uh, released the final episode of the final like segment of the game because I wanted to finish the game that I had and I was chopping it up and the last episode chopped up the last ending the ending of the uh, ending of the game and I got copy I got struck to where the video could not have been distributed anymore you couldn't even you couldn't see it nationally for some reason. And I'm thinking, I am a small YouTube creator. How is this being a problem? Because for some reason, Bandai Namco or whatever company of, sorry, Atlas Games or whoever published Star Ocean 4 blocked it to save people from being spoiled of the game for a game that was released, who had an extensive, like, lifetime of like hey this has been played a long time ago and it's it's really it's the same problem with persona 5 in the beginning of its life cycle because persona 5 had an issue where you would no one could play the no one could really stream the game because of the way atlas was protecting it so that's 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 uh always been a problem things being blocked or struck because the publisher wants people to experience the game unspoiled when the reality is you could not spoil yourself by not watching the video it's really easy to police yourself but companies don't feel trusting of the community to police themselves so i'm not going to trust you to police yourself let me do it for you by interrupting anybody and everybody that's trying to release content regarding it with just free promotion but given the fact that all of this is happening so close to one another, all of the reasons for these videos being like hit by YouTube are simply just so frivolous, right? Like so bullshit to begin with. I decided, man, I gotta make a video talking about this because people need to be aware just how stupid YouTube really can be. Like, yeah, it's a cool job. It's fun making videos here on the platform and whatnot. But bro, the idea that your video and your channel as a result can be punished because of shit like this, like what we're gonna be taking a look at today man like it just not only is demoralizing as a creator because this could really happen to anybody for pretty much anything but it's also scary to think that youtube is so incompetent at running their own platform and their employees who review these types of things are so incompetent at their job that we even really have situations like this in the first place like if we're being honest every single one of these situations that we're going to take a look at here and there's four of them that i want to talk about these are all in my opinion very cut and clear false actions taken by youtube right like it's just mind-blowing bro so first i want to start off with a creator by the name dumpy right so many of you might know who dumpy is like i said most of these guys are considered commentary channels so dumpy made a video about the uh streamer nick a30 right so i'm assuming a lot of you know who that is but 
he had a five second clip in which he was essentially just saying Nick's name in a funny way. And uh, well, his video was then hit by YouTube and it wasn't hit for, for YouTube what? like for, oh, I don't Sorry. know, video just saying Nick's name in a funny way. And uh, well, his video was then hit by YouTube and it wasn't hit for, for YouTube like for, oh, I don't know, bullying or harassment, anything like that. Even then, that wouldn't have been reasonable whatsoever. And I don't want to show the clip that he basically posted because if it got his video hit and multiple employees said that the decision was final and that was right i also don't want to get i'm under the impression it's the way that said it that it was the way that it was said or who said it like there has been times where there was a there was a severe case on youtube like a year ago or within the year within the past 12 months that a creator that was African American was getting less views and was pushed less than his other colored creators. Like there was, like, uh, non African American creators that were being pushed more than him, and he brought up that issue, and it was a complete mess. Being where it was, it it racially preferred other content creators than. It racially preferred one group of creators than the other. So that YouTube thing happened like a while, like within the past 12 months, I think. But that is what might have happened. Get hit for some bullshit. But it or was essentially else. a five second clip of him saying Nick A30's name funny. Oh, maybe it would. It may, it may have said that the ends, the N word close enough. It may have sounded like the N word close enough. Someone said, nope, anytime we hear it, down right and youtube decided that this actually classified as nudity for some reason nudity now, keep in mind, the how video was that nudity? is just quite literally a picture of like his profile picture you know it was maybe there was just too much skin like a really deep v-neck sure maybe but fuck anything why it wasn't like he had like a woman with double d's standing there just like butt naked or something on the screen nothing crazy some people right? would wish that of a cartoon dog right eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and uh that apparently classified as nudity according to you nudity so, how Dumby, uh, did basically what any creator in the right mind would do if they had this kind of you know decision made by youtube on them he attempted to speak with youtube representatives through the live chat that google provides for youtube it's i got I, I gotta tell you guys it's not very reliable I understand why it's not really reliable, but it's not really reliable. Sometimes you get a bot. Sometimes you get people that aren't able to do their job or who don't have enough urgency to withhold standards. It's really hard to say. Right Now, he talked to three different employees. Three not different. one, not two. Three different employees. And every single one of them confirmed the decision. After speaking with three different at Team YouTube employees via live chat, I've been told the decision is final and we can't review the video again. This is absolutely ridiculous. Below you'll see what classifies as nudity and deserves to be age restricted. Someone sits down next to you in a five-hour... It's, nudi it's nudity because we have a nude, cursed, cowardly dog. Courage the cowardly dog is it, any dog that you have is relatively a nude creature, but that is crazy. This is, below you'll see what classifies as nudity and deserves to be age restricted. I don't get. I, I can see how lewd it probably is. Like, ooh, he has a mouthful of PB and J sandwich. There's nothing classifying as nudity uh, for Courage the cowardly dog, which is concerning and this and this video was published a month ago too restricted so this is pretty light in comparison to a couple of the other creators who got hit here so i'm actually so for some reason i'm super annoyed that he hasn't released a star yet i don't i know that he has this game up to play the game while there's this video going this content going on but i'm i don't know i have not played mario galaxy but it's concerning that he hasn't released a star yet unless the bullet bills have something to do with it
So this video got age restricted, which is stupid enough, but for those of you who don't know, uh, age restriction on YouTube means that for, in order for people to watch your video, they have to be signed into a, like a Google account. And a pretty good portion of YouTube viewers don't watch videos signed in, meaning that this literally cripples your viewership for videos if this happens. It's happened to me several times as well, and it kills your video most of the time. So YouTube sentenced this video to die, essentially, because of a five second clip that contained zero nudity whatsoever. And then three different employees reviewed the video, took a look at it. I really doubt that there was a review because I'm under the impression that there was a quota to be made and this was one of the times where the content wasn't enticing enough for them to like give a decent view versus like, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, I'll agree with the last guy that said yeah said deny so i'll agree that guy so it becomes a bandwagon of people coming to the same conclusion if the last person said no i should probably say no when there's not enough urgency to take their time took a look at the issue and confirmed somehow that this was nudity and this decision had to be upheld by youtube how i like it i don't even understand how this kind of mistake gets made you can't even misconstrue anything on the screen as being nudity and also how is it possible that youtube quote can't review the video again you have thousands of employees right you're a global website ran by google you're one of the biggest websites of all time and you can't review a video several times to make sure you're making the right decision like oh i see what's happening yeah they're using the bullet bill to break the cage sorry i'm most i'm pretty distracted this is a good strategy what the fuck are you talking about you know what i mean like oh we we can't review this video again even though we're fully within our capabilities to do so we're just choosing not to because of whatever reason and like i said this is uh because like this is them trying to reveal they have to review a fifth a five to 15 minute 15 second clip they don't have seconds to spare, which is, like, really disturbing. This is only one Concerning, of four rather. instances that we'll be talking about here today, too. So the next one I want to talk about is the YouTuber Tom Dark slash Turkey Tom, as many of you Turkey uh, may Tom. know him as. And he actually ended up getting a okay. strike. A strike? Leafy makes everyone mad, and he got struck for this video. I dub and, I dubs and Rice Gum. Who... Who remembers Rice Gum? Because I really do not. Strike levied on his YouTube channel, as you can see in this post here on Twitter. Hello at Team YouTube. I've appealed uh, your policy decision. After review, I still have a strike on my channel. This decision has been made in error. There is no content encouraging harmful or dangerous acts. What's really harmful is the reputation regarding iDubs and Rice Gum and Leafy. Leafy probably doesn't care, but maybe somebody's team on iDubs or Rice Gum found this harmful to their image so they they struck it in my video all content within this video is already available on youtube which is why this is so frustrating please review the decision reinstate my video reverse the strike this all was coming off of his video uh called leafy makes everyone mad i dubs and rice gum so tom essentially used a like three second clip finally of a finally sorry sorry i'm just really invested in the mario game right now i'm sorry a video that all has been on youtube for years by the way it was a three second clip of a video that's been on youtube for like literally seven years now and has over 12 million views right so that video has remained perfectly fine on youtube no issue whatsoever right it's been up for almost a decade at this point amassed millions of views no issues whatsoever no strikes from youtube nothing like that but tom takes a couple second clip from that video and you know references it essentially and he has a channel strike put against his channel which by the way a channel strike like this prevents him from uploading to any channel affiliated with that google account for like a week so a from week? my understanding tom can That's now crazy. not post any content for a week which obviously as a creator completely throws his schedule out the window and i from my understanding too believe he has like a team that works for him and like helps him create his content and I so that like not only does this unlawful this like this un yeah unlawful this unlawful strike affects him it affects his team if it was a solo creator nobody would care but this affects a t his team so that affects people's livelihood 
not good. Obviously, with a lack of content going out to monetize, that means that their production is most likely halted and they can't make content. So YouTube is preventing Tom from uploading and making content for a week because of him using a clip that has been publicly available on YouTube for years with millions of views. Make it make sense. And then, you know, he adds Team YouTube in the post, right? You would think, right, in an ideal fucking world that, you know, mm -hmm. the Team YouTube Twitter... You know, the, the team YouTube, they'd be like, oh, you know, we made a mistake. We reviewed the video. Our bad, bro. We're reinstating your shit, right? Oh, no, no, of course not. Team YouTube decided to uphold the decision here, too. In quite literally another blatant example of them missing the mark, not only on their policies, but on the quality of their review practices. So keep in mind, we are only halfway through this whole thing. So <laughs> commentary YouTuber Augie RFC uh sorry i'm reading a little bit or on twitter known as neo violation right now, tweeted out hey at team youtube why was a seven-year-old gaming live stream that had less than a hundred views randomly just taken down for hate speech when no violation what was the content about Nation occurred and why was my appeal instantly rejected obvious mistake please investigate so but what was the content about? Like, what? So, also what? got a community guidelines strike active on his channel uh, for a seven year old gaming live stream, less than 100 views. I also believe that the video was actually either privated or unlisted as well, meaning that there was really no access to the content in the first place. The only way you have access to the content is if there's a playlist. It's, it's visible on the playlist, so people can technically still watch the content. I, I experienced it where. I'm, I've had unlisted videos, but you can watch the unlisted content if you go to the uh, playlist. That's why, a lot, like for example, the Lady of Lore, she has she streams on her channel, but the but almost all the con all of the streams are unlisted, so you have to take the extra step to go to a playlist that has that video. So there's steps made to make it unlistable. Uh, un you where you can't find it on the on the channel page but the video still exists and for people who want to watch it there's a way for them to watch it without them saturating the channel so there is a way to do it but again like it's confusing to where he has an unlisted video that seven years later was marked as hate speech for a distasteful take it's they're being can't they're being pre-canceled for some odd reason and there was no such, you know, hate speech or anything inside of the video to even complain about in the first place. Should be, a, once again, clear-cut, dry example of YouTube making a mistake in their review process and with their rules. But of course, you know, Team YouTube comes through, and after review, the video won't be reinstated. They didn't provide a timestamp that, like, shows, hey, this is where you violated the rules, this is, like, the infraction we're talking about, nothing like that. No proof that any, you know, uh, issue was really taken with the video in the first place just a, hey kind of go fuck yourself right you're starting to see what i like to call a pretty identifiable fucking pattern right creators are getting hit for and the majority of the, it's also funny to where there is favoritism with higher uh subscribed content creators where they are catered much more than this the smaller streamers content creators case in point during the uh, I Show Speed incident, uh, he was he was not reprimanded. He wasn't he was not reprimanded for for what he did. Because if you don't know the I Show Speed controversy, let me say it again. He was streaming. He was playing Five Nights at Freddy's. He did derogatory movements towards Chica when she jump scared him, and then his junk somehow slipped out of his uh, boxers like it was a game of peekaboo on stream where he also has a viewer age range as low as eight years old so potentially thousands of kids from the ages of eight and up saw his junk and youtube did not punish him for that even though within the guidelines even though he like immediately just deleted the stream ended the stream ended the content what he did still wasn't punished and that's a problem 
or bullshit strikes and bullshit issues on the platform, they're going to at Team YouTube and to the other outlets that creators have supposedly been given to have their issues resolved. They're making a pretty good case for why they should be reinstated and why these issues should be revoked. And YouTube drops the fucking ball completely after a quote-unquote thorough review. Keep in mind that Augie's first appeal was instantaneously rejected. So there was for no some way reason. that they actually reviewed Magical, the video. Right? And considering it was like a seven-year-old live stream, I would assume that to actually go through and review like the whole VOD or whatever to make sure there was no infraction. You know, just to, like make sure overall that there's no issues in the content, right? I would assume that would take probably, you know, an hour, two hours, right? Depending on how long the live stream is, of course. Mm -hmm. But no, we had an instantaneous rejection here, right? So YouTube in all three of these cases has had somebody apparently manually review to make sure that these, uh, you know, weren't some sort of mistake on YouTube's part. And every time they come back with the wrong answer. So make it make sense. Are, are the people doing the reviews not competent enough to do this job? Or is it like robots reviewing it, which is fucking stupid and isn't helping anybody or are they not even reviewing it in the first place no one really seems to know but the last i'm under the impression that even like i said it's a quota basis to where no one even though they do see it at a glance or they it's it might be a situation to where it was like grabbed by like the person like oh this was flagged and i have a i have a boatload of things to like review on top of this so I'm just going to say, yeah, sure, I'm, I'm going to trust this one person who has almost zero proof of rightfulness and say, hey, yo, this guy flagged this video. Okay, we'll, we'll pass it through because of a quota situation. It might be a quota problem that YouTube has regarding view, uh, reviewing strikes and so forth example I want to take a look at here today is from a channel slash creator by the name of Memology 101 right so a couple days ago once again uh, unfortunately here for Memology an issue with YouTube right where basically an eight second clip of shrimp lifting weights literally a shrimp lifting weights apparently was removed for containing graphic content uh, graphic content whoever Whoever was insulted by this graphic content clearly was upset by the gains that this shrimp has made. Larry the shrimp makes everyone makes everyone crumble. Larry, the sh the strength the sheer strength of Larry the lobster's cousin, Larry the shrimp, has so much gains that the Riz is violent or graphic. According to this little screenshot, it shows the malicious infliction of physical or psychological harm to animals that it's not allowed on YouTube. That okay, psychological harm, like what the sh what the shrimp is doing, or is what the shrimp is doing is biologically like what they're doing. So that's something that they can't control or can't control. We don't know yet. It's not serious in the fucking slightest, right? Like, th there's no. nothing about this that's... It, it, there's no animal abuse, anything like that, right? It, it's a joke. It's a meme. But YouTube claims that it contains, like, graphic content about, you know, malicious infliction of physical damage to animals or whatever, right? So, of course, you know, memeology appeals, you know, uh, as he should in this situation. YouTube... Remove the video? Jeez, man... Again, like, it's a situation where, hey, no one actually reviews. There's a large portion of content that's not being actually reviewed because of the volume of requests. So it's a volume problem, and we don't have enough staff members to give a quality review of things upholds once again that this is graphic content and that this is not allowed on youtube he goes to at team youtube on twitter and they confirm once again it violated policies and won't be reinstated so on youtube now apparently saying nick a30's name in a funny way with a cartoon dog profile picture is now nudity seven-year-old game it's more like it sounds so much like the slur but also they don't have a i don't think they have like a filter for like words i guess streaming live streams that are privated and have a hundred views with no hate speech are now nazi content three second clips of rice gum and leafy videos that have tens of millions of views over the last decade is now offensive content 
and memes about shrimps lifting weight is animal abuse. What? I, what's wrong with the animal abuse, man? Like, what the fuck is going, is going on? on? Like, it, it, it's it's incredible that all of this has happened within like a week long period, right? Like, it, not even a week actually. Like, memeology, I think, started all this with. Sorry, hold on. I gotta shake up my shake because this is uh, content, I guess. But it's crazy to where like there are arbitrary things being called out that have no merit his post on the 16th and then like every day since then there's been a new post from somebody in commentary or somebody in the youtube community at large like hey youtube just hit my video and struck my channel or whatever because of whatever it may be right and it's just always the wrong decision coming back hey team youtube please help me fix this do your jobs and actually help the creator right oh no we can't do that policy team said shrimp lifting weights is animal abuse bro have fun with that i, I just i can't understand how this even happens right because these are supposed to be manually reviewed by like a fucking mm -hmm. human being like a real person who knows the youtube rules and like actually is knowledgeable about this but yet somehow they consistently still get the answers wrong i how how are we still in this position it's just it's very co like coincidental and convenient that all of these people in the same community are getting smacked for all of these bullshit issues right around the exact same time and youtube doesn't care youtube could care less about all of this so i don't know i just it's not that again like it's a it's a push where it doesn't it's not about youtube not caring is that there is too little staff for so much reporting and again like there's there's almost an innate there's more people helping larger creators than there are smaller creators and the joe schmoes or the small channel andy's that are trying to make a living out of this is not being helped out until they proved it but again it's a matter of like quota like hey get these done by the end of the day get x many by the end of the day I just wanted to make a video to talk about this because this is all in all of these situations so clearly bullshit and then youtube wants to wonder why like creators don't trust them right so hopefully youtube can go back on these instances and realize like hey we're kind of fucking up big time maybe we should fix this because none of these guys deserve anything that's happening to their channel right now right like none of these guys violated youtube's rules now if honestly i like turkey tom i like augie i like memeology i like dumpy they're all pretty cool guys right but i like couldn't you just jumped over there or maybe the jump too short them but if they clearly violated youtube's rules i wouldn't be standing here defending them but in this instance none of them actually violated the rules none of them did anything wrong so the idea that youtube is going to punish them and in some instances you know strike their channel for a week and whatnot and open up their channel to further violations that could even get them removed at the worst that's bullshit to me and creators shouldn't stand for shit like that so anyway with all that being said thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe <laughs> if you're brand new around here on the channel follow me over on twitter and twitch at sub the optimus Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Yeah, so that con that was pretty comprehensive. I like I liked what he said. I don't like what was reported because it is a common case of like situations where there's not enough staff members to do these things and people aren't getting the help that they want or need and they don't get the help that they act. They don't like how they're getting the help ultimately too so that's also a big problem but i don't know there is no better solution from this because people can say oh if you just hired more we would avoid this problem oh if you just hire more we'll get we can solve this problem that we have but it's the ability to recruit x number manpower people want to have a low man they want to have a set amount of employees because that's the budget they can have and if they have too many employees they can't stay within budget despite being a multi-million dollar company multi-billion dollar company it's a really tough discussion and the purge is imminent but i don't have the solutions i just know i have an insight of how they can get there honestly if you have a, if you have a solution for what they can do let me know down in the comments. Let Optimus know in the comments because I'm going to link his stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link you his stuff. It's I like this video. I can't wait to see what else he has. I like and subscribed. And I can't wait to hear from him more. So 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.